Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two Run, where we are beating the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers per mission. Of course, if two squads are deployed, like this mission, we're effectively ending up with four. I got a treat of a mission for you, gentlemen. 31 enemies, including the Warlock himself, are trying to invade our... Um, Avenger. So it is the uh, it's a kind of a situation where the gloves are off. We tra trade the blows for blows. The warlock is trying to invade our home, and I am saying no. That's not going to happen. And not only is this not going to happen, afterwards we are going to invade his home. We got Zirkim here. We got good old Edgar Allan Poe. We got Red, uh, who's subbing him. Uh, because we had no other specialist and we got Outrider here a fine team if I may say so so might as well give it a try uh, also we do have four towers which kind of makes the whole situation a little bit more easy nice little homing mines and in terms of remote start, we have a couple of options as well. Well, well, well! Let us start, shall we? You know that the chrysalids are there. Zirkim just takes a grapple. And they haven't even seen us yet. Perfect timing. A supreme grenade. Fire in the hole. Which will deal a shit ton of damage. Oh gosh, it's lagging quite a bit. There is nowhere to hide. Nice. All four of them solidly uh, are hit. Yeah, and there we go. That looks beautiful. Unfortunately, none of the remote starts can kill them, but that's fine. Uh, the kill zone might be a good idea. Not sure yet. So if we were to take a saturation fire, is this actually going to work? Is this here a real thing? Would we be able to hit them through the wall? I'm not sure. We could use another grenade, which I do not want to do. Or we're just trying saturation fire. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Might as well work. Love it. I love it. And by the way, we still got the towers as backup, so... Let's take a guess who has four towers for full-fledged defense metrics. Damn right, it's a me, Mario. Yeah, trigger free action. The game is giving us a couple of treats at the moment. I don't even know how and why we deserve that. It feels, although we only have four uh, soldiers, that we might just very so slightly overkill the whole, um, the whole. Uh, mission here I don't want to go near the fire yeah let's go over here Understood. just a bit out. closer to the action Back 
Not too bad. Pretty solid start. I don't know, I mean, we want the high ground, I suppose. So there's nothing wrong with that. We position ourselves, oh, might as well position ourselves up here, which is also not bad. Right, Overwatch for the heavy towers. And a pretty solid round number one. Destroyed one of uh, the uh, tanks and four chrysalids. There is our nemesis. The warlock himself has entered the battle. Fortunately, he will stay right there and continue to um, summon his zombies. This here sucks. All revealing eye means uh, Dragonova would be spotted out. Beastmaster sucks as well because that's more chrysalids. Um, yeah, immunity to explosives and just a lot of defensive uh, abilities. He's strong. He's uh, 65 hit points strong. It's one of the chosen. This mission just got a little more dangerous. This mission never was not dangerous to, to begin with, Bradford. Okay, <laughs> we're somewhat getting there. Dragonova moves in, and I just want to see if uh, we can spot something or someone out. Oh, hell yeah. That is two packs right there. Before we do anything, just out of curiosity, we could... Probably pull ourselves over here. Let's see. Yeah, that would pull the pack. Unfortunate. So that'll be one option. Another one clearly here. I don't know how much uh, this here hampers our vision. I almost would want to go here. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. It'll only trigger one pack and we can still use the high ground to our advantage. So, if we were to do a kill zone, if we were to do a kill zone, that would include everyone here, and that would be nice, I'm not going to lie, that would be pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Question is, can we kill someone right away? Like this guy over there. Would that be possible to kill him? It, it might be possible. Before we do that, let's start with our towers though, because uh, they have 
by far the least ability to target someone. Oh, all of them are behind behind cover. Okay, I see what's going on. I get you. I see what is going on. So this here calls. We need to get him down. That's why uh, the position here is a bit exposed, but I'm confident that we will be able to do that. So this here is a nice starter. Apparently half cover is still a thing. Tower couldn't really hit anyone. This here, however, should be way easier. Yep, that's one down. Seems to be difficult to hit this guy. Oh, nice. Almost down. Yeah, the defense matrix is really pulling its weight. We could theoretically finish off this guy. Now that he is much, much lower, that armor's tough. might as well just kill him. High percent chance to actually hit and kill him. I don't want to use fanfire yet. So instead, let's just kill him, who's used the death from above reset, or not, or not, well, good enough for me. I'm pretty sure zombies are going to appear. I wanted to use kill zone, but it was actually more efficient to get everyone down. Although kill zone would have been nice on this pack here. Good. Where are the zombies? There we go. That's my man. One, two, three. Beautiful. Four. Oh, how did I miss you? Zombie swarm. Ah, 
How did I miss you? Okay, moving a bit away. Rolling. That way we're not getting completely blown up. If we were to remote start this here, I'm not sure would that hit. We're looking at two extra fields and that's two extra fields. One, two, yeah, it should not hit anyone. Plus it should just simply kill the zombies. As always, we're starting with our towers and then we're going to go through the rest. Tower number one. Conveniently enough, has so much damage that we can one-shot the zombies <clears throat> and severely injure the Archon, which is helpful as well. Let's focus on the Archon. Alright, so... No? Yeah, let's continue with the Archon. Beautiful. Lovely. Nope, we don't need to uh, kill him. Let us just move a bit further away. This here looks about fine. And now we can uh, we can actually use the uh, remote start ability. Probably killing both of them quite easily. I'm just thinking about do we need an advanced teamwork? Mm. No. Let's save that for a later day. Let's crit DB Trooper. Pretty decent crit. Unfortunately, didn't quite kill him. But thanks to the second hair trigger, this guy is toast. Good job, man. Almost. Okay, time to finish the mech. Easy. Thanks to Fanfire. Zirkim kills the last zombie. I think we're clear. That was an easy round. Overwatch. And Overwatch here for Edgar Alien Poe. A lot of firepower. Charge, Commander. Their cannon is primed and ready to fire. Serve your purpose. Spur our and there are the enemies. Hardly did anything. They're trying to play God. Good. One more round until the cannon fi starts firing, but we're pretty solidly advancing. Good. 
good. Let's take a look here. Okay, we need to somewhat get rid of uh, some of their cover as well as the massive amount of armor since uh, the warlock himself is completely immune to explosives i don't mind using yet another one here no can't hit all of them now we wait but this here should be enough to at least shred this guy plus make room for the towers to kill there we go that should be an easy one shot one down The towers are crazily good. Uh, the amount of damage that they're um, pushing out is ridiculous. Even if they are only 50-50 against targets uh, from afar, still is a pretty decent chunk of damage that I'm seeing. percent hundred percent yeah might as well simply kill them with normal shots it's one down two down Okay, so I don't want to trigger anything major to be honest, might as well just overwatch for now and reload. There is the shot. Yeah, we're going to be all right. We already cleared like what? One peg right away, the chrysalis, then two pegs uh, on the left hand side, the one that wandered into us, that's peg number four. We are killing it. It's crazily fast how, how fast we are uh, killing them. Plus two of the, um, of the uh, tanks are already gone as well. Nope. Yes. And yes. Got it. Moving. Nice little double movement. And let's move here. Take the loot. Moving. Continue to move. I think we're going to be all right. Superior scope, wonderful, really good. And superior focus might be an item for one of the C team soldiers who does not have a PCS yet. Alright, Overwatch here, Overwatch here, Overwatch here, Overwatch here. And. I mean, for now. I still want to go with the high uh, ground position. So we've reloaded. I still want to try to get another nice kill zone off.
Interesting enough, he summons them all the way back I here. No targets. Well, at least the towers somewhat nullify his stupid ability to summon them. What it does, uh, first and foremost, is waste time, and that really stings. Going up. Hmm. Yeah, I think the sniper Edgar Alien can handle it. I don't like that we're using cooldowns for it. I leave lightning hands open. Unless you're lucky, he just kills both of them. Good enough. Warlock is back here, so he should be able to see this movement. I go where I'm needed. My life is in your hands. Is Interesting. A solid zero percent chance to hit these guys from here. But we can already get a little bit closer. I love defense matrix, like uh, matrix, it is so good in what it's supposed to do. An upgraded defense matrix ma makes the whole uh, run way smoother. Imagine those towers wouldn't be here, we would actually be sweating blood and tears. But with defense matrix, it is doable, quite doable. Okay, we got a remote start, but even more important, our defense matrix can hit the main target, and like I already mentioned, crazy amounts of damage, 20 points, 2 shots, ridiculous. Oh, holy shit. Did we just destroy it? Now we 
just need to mop up the remaining enemy forces. Did we just destroy it with 300 turns, uh, 300 energy left? Oh my god. That was pretty impressive. Just from a speed perspective. Yeah, I think we're going to go... I think we're going to go over here. No need to ask twice. Overwatch, Overwatch. And Overwatch. Overwatch. Reload, Overwatch. I, I know what we're going to do next. It includes kill zone, and it's gonna be fun. Not sure if kill zone uh, has even such a high amount of re uh, reach, but maybe it does. Well, maybe we're not kill zoning. It would have been nice though. Oh, we are barely hanging on here. They haven't spotted us out. Interesting. And cool at the same time. Zero percent chance to hit them. Yep. Pretty solid zero percent. So in terms of kill zone. Oh. How could I not do that? I think we're going to go for it because it will mean we have four attacks. Them out. And since the pack is just super high on hit points, might as well freeze one of them goat old capacitator discharge but before we do that uh, let's give ourselves an a protocol for a nice little overwatch this is uh, going to be the overwatch turn and a capacitator discharge I mean, we're looking at far over a hundred hit points, and we have a team of four. Might as well use uh, our abilities to our advantage. Uh, we could go for a banish. And just straight out try to rock it. I mean, we're, we would be looking at... What? Two hits, and then he would continue. Or, even better, while we're here... Or we go with this here, nice little shrapnel. And that shrapnel, although there's a 0% chance to hit like one of these big targets, 
There should be a chance to hit the shrapnel from here. Apparently there isn't. Which means we're just going to explode it. That's still 16 points of damage. Good enough for a starter. And it won't make us visible. Just out of curiosity, is it really 0%? It's probably really 0%. Yeah, it's 1% before defense, and then it's minus 24%. I wonder if the game even has an, a proper mechanism to deal with uh, minus 24%. Apparently it has, so... We're just going to overwatch. Anyways. Is there a chance? Is there a chance to hit both of them? Maybe, but not from this angle. We would need to go into half cover. Do we really want to do that? Is the question. Um, we might as well also go to here and. Although that is half cover, we should be able to get both into our situation fire. Yep, there we go. Because the cone widens at the end. That's one down. Good job, Zirkim. Well done. Good job, Zirkim. Well done. Everyone seems disoriented. Let's see what Edgar Co has to say. He certainly shares the sentiment of uh, taking a nice little shot. Come on, Guardian. There we go. Even more Overwatch shots. Nice little stuff. Come on, Guardian. Right there. Okay, we do have nice little cover, so we probably should be able to not avoid it because that guy still hits like a truck. Do you feel the pain, and there we go, spectral zombies. Luckily, okay, still pretty much in the middle of the field, so we might be able to hit hit, uh, hit them with our uh, towers. And soon we're going to come for the for the warlock. All right. Zip just one more bit to the uh, to the right, and now we can kill him. Good job, good job. So we are healing ourselves. Plus the six hit points, and we're continuing to hit this guy here. Is there a hit?
Reload. And let's kill the Archon. Enemy destroyed. The elders created them for this very purpose. In their respect. Yo. That is not too bad. Now let's deal with the zombies. Okay. That one will not be a problem. For some reason, uh, for for whatever reason, uh, they are only 50-50, probably because they are now a little bit further away. And every single one of them is down to 1 HP. Alright, at least one of them died. Seriously, oh, that was so unnecessary. This looks a little ugly. Deploying grapple. X ray neutralized. Good. Zombies down. Let's move in and finally get the warlock. Your forces will perish, and you will return to the elders, Commander. I'm on the move. Okay, time to move in. In between the rounds, we always have a little, just a little bit of time to move in. No need to ask twice. I heard the steps of a sector pod, so that thing probably is near. Kill zone is soon going to be up again. Question that I'm asking myself, of course, is do we want to use it, or are we better off with him going into me uh, into closer range, not melee, but closer range? Italian pool makes a run for the money. One more round until the new zombies are going to be summoned. Well, that's too bad for him, I suppose. So let's move over with advanced teamwork, just so that we optimize our actions. Dragonova has one action left, and I can tell you, boy, boy, she's going to banish him. Just getting all of his sweet, sweet armor off of him. That's one. Two, three, four, five. We're going to see whether or not that's going to be enough, buddy. Like the cowardly fiends you are. We've spotted. 
spotted the chosen. Get ready to fight. I'm on the move. So we're indeed moving a bit closer. A protocol. Ah, she doesn't have ammunition anymore. Maybe it was a mistake. Should have probably not given her aid protocol. And I think Zirkim did not have um, a mine shield. So we gotta be careful with that as well. He is going to mind control. Start Wrath. And let's move all the way over here. Will do. We maybe started him just a bit too early, but that's fine for now. Probably trying to mind control uh, Dragonova. He's definitely not going to summon, uh, summon new zombies. He's instead going for some chrysalids, but that's okay. One of them almost down. Mind control. He is actually using his rifle, which he hasn't done for quite a while. Reload. End. Let's think about how we would want to deal with the chrysalids for once. Yeah, we can't hit them from here. Hundred percent chance to hit them. And we even have a very solid chance of hitting him. That's not bad. So in terms of normal shots, we could kill uh, the Chris, uh, both of the chrysalids with Edgar. That way everyone else could focus on their targets. However, We might as well kill the chrysalids with someone else because Edgar has such a nice uh, chance of uh, actually hitting the chosen one. And yet another hair trigger. Good job, Red. Well done. We could be moving just a bit back to here, because he doesn't have a mind uh, shield. There now. Yeah, I think that's the right choice. That way the Chosen focuses on the ones that have a mind shield. Hundred percent chance to hit him. Might as well start with the sniper, because after the first shot he gets low profile, which makes him harder to hit. So 
Let's give him health. Oh, pretty, pretty solid hit. Both points of damage. I said a blood trail. Okay. So spectral army and or mind control is what he's probably trying to do. Unfortunately, we get a bit interrupted here. Not at all an optimal timing. Mind control? Well, mind scorched, that's fine. We're immune, buddy. Thanks for trying, though. Gotta get a bit closer. Fortunately, we can see the Warlock now, which uh, also means he can see us. Again, we have no shield on Edgar. On the other hand, having a sector port running around isn't particularly good uh, either. Zero percent, not even going to bother. Pretty solid hit down to six. That would kill the sector pod. We do not have an aid protocol yet. But we can put us in a bit more exposed position to make it more likely uh, that we're getting mind controlled. I think that's what we are going to do. Oh shit, that's provoking an, uh, an overwatch. Luckily, we missed. Which, by the way, was unnecessary because. I wanted to explode the car with remote start. Um, are we going to go into the shadows? Mm, no, I think we're just remote starting, hitting both of them. We could move over to here. What are we doing with the uh, stun lancer though? He's a bit of a problem. We got them all covered except the stun lancer. I think I do have an idea. Oops. So what we're going to do is we are indeed shifting over an ability to 
Wait, okay, I didn't pull. Now we're going to use the remote sword. This will be big. Looks like a charm. I like it. Okay, Edgar Alien has three turns effectively. Moving in over here. Hopefully not pulling another pack. Hit, maybe. Oh shit. He's just shy of hitting everyone. It's 9 to 12 points of damage. If he would be standing, let's say over here. Or even over here. That would be really helpful. I think we're going to go for here. All right. Get them, buddy. Decent. Now this here is a 50 50. Okay. Pack eliminated. Good. Let's see what the Warlock is going to do. He potentially has three targets in range. I think he's going to mind control either of the closest targets. Yep. Both of them, of course, being immune. Time to run it down. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, another hair trigger. Red is so lucky. I don't know what it is, but she's just hair triggering like crazy. Sixty-five percent. Good enough in my book. Not much of a hit. Okay. And with United Forces, they are trying to hunt him down. down. I need ammo. Nice little kill. Yeah, that was solid, but it also gives us uh, an indication of how hard this battle will be with only two soldiers and no other towers in between. No defense metrics when we're raiding his home, that's for sure. Swift. All right. We are almost done. I think there is, realistically speaking, there's probably one more pack left. Roger that. 
That's it. Locked and loaded. I will be in position. There is nowhere to hide. There we go. That's the pack. On my way. Time for a solid reload. Everyone line. seems to be out of ammunition. Excellent work, Commander. I'm on it. All right, reload. Yeah, let's get a bit closer in position, shall we? Location confirmed. Good. It's only a couple of Newtons and one Archon. What could possibly go wrong? I think I'm going to grapple up here. And we're going to do a nice little <coughs> Overwatch ambush. Good. So, as I was saying, grapple up here. Set up the nice little kill zone. No excuse for not hitting anyone. short on the saturation fire, right? Barely short on the saturation fire. Is there a chance to maybe hit the second one? Just a little bit. No? Well, let's still do it because it'll get their cover out of the way. At least I was thinking that it would. Apparently it isn't. Three out of four hits, pretty good. One, 
two. Yeah. Well. Zirkin takes an overwatch with uh, eight protocol. And let's continue to hit the Archon. Oh, Lord. Good, good job. Well done. Might as well kill this guy here. Well, we still got kill zone, so as soon as they do anything, they'll take another hit. Of course. Down to one hit point. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was a bit unlucky. Zirkin finishes the Archon. And let's finish the Mutant. And that's about it. That was the fifth uh, time that they were trying to invade our Avenger. This time 41 enemies and we killed them with four. Seems legit. 10 to 1 ratio. And it even worked quite smoothly until the very end. I mean, Archons are always a pain in the ass. Specifically if uh, they just barely avoid being, being shot to death. Yeah, but other than that, pretty solid. Let's see how well the revenge plays out. We managed to keep the chosen off the Avenger for now, Commander, but I'm sure they'll be back. We need to keep working with the factions to track their position. The Let's see how well the, the revenge plays out. Once our bonding is done, we are going to invade him. We have made a number of new Oh, how convenient. The Archon armor is there. Guess who's going to take that? We don't need a uh, we don't need another facility lead. We're fine for now. Oh, nice shred storm cannon. That's pretty handy. Are you kidding me? A dark VIP mission. Huh. Okay. I guess if the game wants to do us a dark uh, VIP mission, like 314 supplies and 102 intel, that sounds um, pretty rewarding so i guess we're squeezing in yet another mission before it's gonna go down but until we do that i wanted to thank you for watching so diligently it is a pleasure and uh, it's really fun like this run is probably one of the best experiences that i had with the game although it uh, it is a drag, uh, but it's still, it's absolute, it's a blast. I like it. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. If that was the case, don't forget to uh, give it a like and or leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for your time and see you in the next mission. Bye-bye.